welcome back to the stream where today we are going to be playing 60 seconds reatomized. Um, I believe this time we are going to try to get, do the same thing as normal, try to get more achievements, uh, do more challenges so I could do, so I could get the hats, because I didn't know I could get hats from the challenges, but apparently that's how I get hats, and I want all the hats that are offered to me, but I don't know if I'm going to get them all. Um, just looking at something quickly. Um, I believe in one of the endings, it might be an ending to turn Mary Jane into a monster. Either that or it's just an achievement. But I believe I was on the right path to do it. I think I needed to keep cockroaches in the bunker somehow. And because there's one thing that happens where, um, where you can like have cockroaches and you can either kill them or keep them in the bunker. Well, if you keep them in the bunker, then I think she'll turn into a monster. But for now, we are going to attempt some challenges. It's going to be very difficult. Wait, give me one second. Just gotta make sure everything's working. Even though it should be. And yes it is. Perfect. Right, so we're gonna get more hats. Well, as much as I can. These challenges are actually really hard. Um, I believe I did... I'm gonna try the survival challenges as well, because there's new storylines, visuals for the Fallout shelter, that kind of thing. Um, but I believe this, yes, this is the hats. Um, so it, like, takes a bunch of tries to do these. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 left. Oh boy. Um, I'm not going to do them all today, obviously, but these are like really difficult to do. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any easier ones, but I realized these people down here, that th these are the people that will get the hats like from before. Um, only the kids would get the hats or something like that. Oh, it has my time as well. I didn't notice that. Yeah, so these kind of suck. So I have to do them a few times just to memorize what I need to get. But, I mean, obviously I'm not going to do them all on stream. But um, I'm going to do as many as I can. Okay, what do I need? Okay, I need you. I don't know what all I need. I need this. This grab it. Dad. Oh. oh god dang it. Get over here. Oh, it would be a miracle if I got it the first try. I mean I know I'm not gonna, but it'd be a god dang miracle. And the paths aren't the same each time, which absolutely sucks. Oh yeah, definitely not. <gasps> Wait, there was one thing left! No! Oh god dang it! Oh, there was one thing left. Okay, but these are hard because you have to get up right next to it to grab it. Which sucks. Uh, I'm gonna turn this down just a little more. Just to be sure. Oh boy. Alright, let's try this again. Just want to make sure I can hear it. There we go, okay. Oh, it's on the other side. Timmy. Yes. 
that. Gas mask. I can't grab the gun. I can't grab anything. Oh no! Map. Cards. This. Is this a thing? That's not a thing. I thought that was a thing, but it's not a thing! You come with me! Uh, there's the gun. Oh, please. I'm not gonna be able to get it. Oh, where is it? I know I'm probably missing them, like, they're right in front of me. Where was the axe, though? They're probably, like, right in front of me, but I can't see it. Because there's a lot of things. And these are really challenging. Like, they may not look challenging, but these are really challenging because Ted skids. Like, it's nobody's business. There's everything else. And there's the gas mask. Dang it. I mean, where is it? Dang it. It's somewhere, but it's just so hidden. Oh, there's the cards, but... Ah. Man. Come on. I don't like time challenges, but I'm doing this for the hats. I like collectibles, don't like timed things. When it's mixed together, it's just a pain. Oh, it's through the wall. God dang it. Anything in here? Yes. Run! Oh, god dang it, Ted. No! You can carry that, Ted. Run! The gun. Book? You? Gas mask? Oh my god, if I had an eye tracker... You could see how sporadic I am. Because I'm looking, but I don't see them. Oh, dude, where do you gotta hide? Oh, there was the map. Hmm, why you gotta hide things in your house? See, the fact is, I can't get it because I can't find it. And I think that's part of the difficulty. Is there anything in here? There's nothing in here. Kid, no. Gun, no. Of course not. Grab. Gas mask. But I'm not gonna make it. My 
eyes are just like darting across the screen. Where is the god dang- Oh, there it is. Wait, is that the suitcase or the thing? I don't know. Oh. Dang it. I'm gonna keep trying these though. Oh, come on. Gun. Gun! Oh, there's three things in here. Nice. mask where is the gas mask oh no 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 one thing one thing please 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 one thing <gasps> get this no i'm not gonna make it go oh, oh my god yes oh perfect just in time Now to do more challenges, even though my heart is beating a million times per hour. Nice! I'm gonna collect all the hats eventually. Because as much as I panic, I do like these. I do like getting the collectibles. Okay, that's not even much, but it's gonna be sporadic. And it probably holds more because the gun holds more, the she holds more, um... The axe hold more. I don't know if the suitcase holds more. Oh boy. Obviously, I'm gonna have to do these a few times just to find where they are, and I know it mixes up almost every single time, but still. Nothing's in here. I need the gun. I need the gun. What, what else do I need? That? Axe. Why is that on the wall? That's terrifying. Oh, that's not the briefcase. God dang it. Uh, do I need this? I need this. After playing it so many times, it just eventually gets in my mind that, um, I don't- I don't need that. It eventually gets in my mind what I need and what I don't need. But I do have to play it a few times to like memorize it. Yeah, the suitcase is three. So I was right about that. Oh dang it, there's a map! God dang it! Oh, I could have gotten that if I saw the map. Okay. Alright, this one is just for Dolores, so it makes sense why it's... It's not easy, but it's easier. Okay, grab that. And grab this. And it eventually gets in my mind, like, what stuff takes up how much space, that kind of thing. Um... Except that. I love how he just screams, no. I probably should have gone back then. Dolores, you're coming with me. What else is coming with me? Gun. Oh, please. Please, where's the map? Where's the map? <gasps> map! Go, 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 go! Oh! Go. Ooh. 
I thought I wouldn't have made it because the lamp was in the way. Thank God. Okay, that only took two tries. Nice. I think. Either two or three. Nice. Only for you, though? That's weird. Okay. We're scrolling past these. I love the sound effects of this game, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thirteen. Just like a bunch of soup and stuff. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Isn't it? Is this gonna take a while? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not gonna jinx it by saying that. Got another side of the wall! Do I need that? I don't need that. Do I need that? I don't need that. I do need that, I think. I don't think I need that. a sound effect when I grab her while she's playing it. Do I need anything in here? Gas mask? Uh, this? Where's the med kit? Where's the med kit? Oh, there was the med kit. I saw it in the corner of my eye. Dang it. It was right behind Timmy. It blended in with the wall. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, I can do this. Grab faster, Teddy! I don't- I didn't need that! Why did I keep grabbing the axe? Gun. Anything in here? I don't need anything in here. You. Partially, uh, it, partially, part of it is just based on luck. Because it can be placed anywhere in the house. Oh, wait, wait a second, wait a second. <gasps> oh, like that. I am amazing. <laughs> I love this. Um, see, it is hard, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. <laughs> Just says that. That's amazing. Okay, perfect. My heart is still beating so fast. But the newspaper is new. See, there was the bike. I I thought the bike was new. And then the newspaper is new, but I can't click on it. Oh! You just need soup. Alright, well are you just gonna wear soup canes or what? This one is still gonna be difficult though. Uh. 
one more. No! No, I need this last one! Dang it! All I need to get is soup. That should be simpler, but it's not. So you can only carry four, which is weird. Is there more soup in this room? I don't know. Yes, there is. Move! Oh, I'm not going to make it. Dang it. Dang it, Ted, why do you slide? Go so slow. Your run is not a run. It's a walk, god dang it. Come on, I just need soup. Oh, what the heck? Did I spawn on the TV or something? What the heck? <laughs> I need one more, what the heck? Maybe I should do the farther rooms instead. Like the rooms farthest from the bunker. And then gradually go towards the bunker. I don't know. Did that work? Drum powder, what the heck is that drum powder? I don't know. <laughs> Do that. God dang it, I needed four more. One more armful. God dang it. Really, Ted. Falling on the ground isn't gonna do you much. I'm gonna be honest, you're gonna die either way. Just jump in the bunker, you have enough soup. <sighs> Apparently, there's never enough soup. Oh, that's a creepy picture. I didn't Oh my god! Get me in the way! Uh. 
It's just soup. You couldn't be slower. Oh, all these things in the way. What the heck? How am I supposed to do that? sense I got down to one those few times so I know it is possible somehow I just need to figure out how need more time Ted really shouldn't wait till the last minute to get the stuff in the bunker it should be in there for like years at least the king and soup never owned a bunker but you know that's what you're technically supposed to do for all bunkers if you wanna I know I don't know live just a thought Ted not be being salty or anything. Me? Salty? Never. Me sarcastic? Never. One more, and I could have grabbed it too. Oh, I'm even pressing shift by force of habit. 
I don't think that makes him go faster. Still pressing it. Dang gun. Well, I was guessing that this one was gonna be a fluke. And since I have the gun, apparently it is. Soup! Man, yes, soup. Oh, after today, I've seen enough of this canned soup, and I don't even like canned tomato soup. It's disgusting. Tomato soup is disgusting, but it's canned or not. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm panicked. I'm trying to get this goddamn hat. <laughs> Get the god dang soup, Ted! Oh my god. And then your scrawny little arms and your scrawny little legs, Ted! Oh, you're infuriating me. supposed to do? This is harder than the other ones and all I have to get is soup. Please, just give this to me! No! Ted, you didn't do it. Yeah. Oh, what was that horn blaring at the end? That was weird. God dang soup can instead I have had enough of you and your scrawny little arms! <laughs> the interact button as as hard and as fast as I possibly can and 
That is still not fast enough. Oh my god. You can get them in the other room. Oh, I needed one more. Um, I just needed one more second. Oy. Really, Ted? Really? You are sorely disappointing me, Ted. Get to the oh, god dang, not the flashlight. I'm trying to get to him. I'm trying to get the god dang soup. Don't get the wife. All you need is soup. Flashlight, not children, just god dang soup! Why do you need this much though? I think you should lay off on the soup, I'm gonna be honest. Well, it's hard to hear, probably, considering it's you, but. Uh, oh my god, I had one more! Where's the last one? It was over here. Not the. God dang, get in the way! <sighs> Please, just give this to me. Please. Instead, you were so scrawny and useless. Oh, <laughs> please just give this to me. Oh, I swear to God. Grab it, kid. Two more. One more. There was the last one. Oh, I grabbed it just as the timer ended. God dang soup can hat. It better be cool. If it's not a cool hat, I'm going to rage so hard. Uh, uh. 
Not Timmy. And you know what? I bet it's just a soup can on a head. I bet that's all it is. I'm gonna be completely honest. That's probably all it is. It's not just me being salty, I'm almost positive that's what it's gonna be. Since it's all about soup! Either that or soup factory hat or something. See, there's trinkets in this one, but there's less. Like, there's that, that. How did that fall? It takes him so long to turn around. And it is so infuriating. I can't, I can't think grab it! <laughs> oh, you can definitely hear me getting mad. Soup! I swear, this is all the stream is gonna be about. the things that you run into too it like slows you down where is the cotton soup I I'm gonna keep at this if you're watching the VOD you could probably just skip ahead in the future you could probably just skip ahead but mm, I'm gonna keep trying this I think this room slows you down the worst because there's so much stuff in it. There's so much stuff everywhere, who am I kidding? to keep trying this. I'm not gonna give up till I do. Give me the 
freaking god dang Zubat. Just be in the kitchen like a normal household. One more. Are you kidding me? Ted, you didn't make it. Is that like the waving the white flag type trumpet sound? I'm not gonna wave the white flag yet. No sorry, you're gonna do this a million times if I have to, Ted. Why is that the sound of a TV breaking? That's weird. Oh my god, Timmy, he's gonna get in the way, isn't he? God, Timmy! Yeah, the stuff definitely makes you slower. Are you freaking kidding me? Worse, you could kind of help me here. You can maybe even save yourself if you help me. If I can find the god dang soup cans. They were in the room. I want to like go back and watch the VOD and see how many times exactly I do this. Dead. I can't even select, like, Dolores or anything to do this. I don't think she would be any different. I need one more! <gasps> oh my god! didn't I? Wait a second. Wait. No. No, I got that. Did I pick up Dolores? I swoop. <sighs> really? You're really gonna test my patience with that. Oh my god, I'm- I'm gonna get in a comfortable position to sit. Because this is going to be a while, apparently. I didn't know getting soup was such a difficulty! Ugh!
Ah, oh, yes. Soup. Because it's all you need in life, apparently. I probably could have just left this one because I think there's like one extra. Oh my god, Timmy. Are you freaking kidding me? Ted. Oh my god, Ted. Are you freaking kidding me? You couldn't grab it. When it was right in front of you. Oh my god. I never want to see canned soup ever again after this. I better not have to get canned soup in any of the other missions. Or challenges, whatever you want to call them. Oh crap, I should have left that one. Okay, so I think I am right in doing that. Um, the less you run into things, the better. Although that was a failed mission. <laughs> Oh my god. I am biting my tongue accidentally out of habit, out of frustration. When I'm frustrated, I either like you can tell I'm frustrated or I bite my tongue, literally. Oh, come on. This room screws me over. I know it. And family members being away, and Ted and I grabbing the goddamn soup cans. One job, Ted, and it's to get soup cans. That is it. You live for soup cans. Soup cans is your god. We should stop talking before I get distracted. Uh-huh. 
there couldn't be one more soup can in here. Ted, go. Ted, you could leap for it. I don't care if you break a bone. When you leap for the bunker. Just leap for it. Tedison! I'm gonna count how many soup cans there is. I'm gonna keep trying this until I get it. I was so close the one time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty. Oh my god. Dang it. Wait, what was that? Atomic Hero. Oh. It's the tutorial. It's hats for all of the family members, so I have to do it. I just have to. Okay, there's two in here, so I might as well go in here. Grab it, kid! Mm. What really screws me over in all of this is Ted, not grabbing or moving. Now that sounds weird out of context, but do not take it out of context. I am stressed about soup cans. If I never see another soup can at the end of this, I'm gonna be too soon. Oh my god, he got stuck there. Two! Couldn't there be like two right here? Ted. Oh my god. Ted! I'm gonna keep trying this. Even though I am so mad right now. Ted, oh my god, you are kidding me right now. Ted, go. Ted, go. Ted, go! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was actually just as the clock turned eight for me. What? Oh, thank god! Ice? It's not even a good hat! I swear to god, if I had failed that, I might have actually screamed. And it taunts me with soup. Soup! I'm seeing too much soup. It's everywhere! What do I need to get for this one? More soup! Everyone but Ted, an axe, and, a s and soup. Even though Ted is technically here. Thank 
Tap. Thank God. <sighs> oh my God. I did that in one try. Fichuna, you just missed the marathon of soup. I spent... Ooh, I think it was... It was half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, just trying to do one challenge. What does that challenge require? 21 soups. If you hear an annoyance of my voice or... 21 soups. If you hear an annoyance in my voice or just me being pissed, at soup? That's why. Oh, I'm 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 gonna jinx it by saying this, but that might have been the hardest one. I'm gonna jinx it though. Cause even like getting the stuff was simple enough after I did it a few times. Relatively. I'm gonna jinx it though. Even with these, it takes me a long time. Oh my god, what do I need? What do I need? I need you. I can't grab you. These normal challenges, the difficult part of them is, it's not memorizing the stuff, because I memorize it the more I do the challenge, but the difficult part is, um, first of all, the obstacles, and then, um, like how much weight the stuff is. Like, some carries more, you have to carry the axe for two points, uh, Timmy for two points, and generally just remembering what you need. Timmy. Not the soup! There's a bug spray in there. Oh, I'm gonna lose my voice after this. With all the raging. Oh. It was mainly because of the soup, though, because holy crap. I need to count how many times I did that because I can't go back now because obviously live stream, but 
Holy crap, I did that soup one so many times. I'm sure I was quiet most of the time, so I could be the most concentrated, but, like, even these ones, I'm quiet because I'm concentrating. But, after the round, I would yell at Ted, soup. Yeah, that's basically it. Or the obstacles. The obstacles were really hard in that one. What do I need? Timmy. Max. <laughs> I swear, with one of these games, I should have like an eye tracker or something, because my eyes are just darting everywhere. Obviously, you know, you can't see it, but you would if it was an eye tracker. That lens in. Holy crap. Gas mask. Can't get the gun. Oh, dang it, I have two more. It kit. I think the bottle was in there somewhere. Nope, that's the bottle. Dang it! Oh, Ted, you could have made it. Those explosions are fast but slow. How close is the explosion to you, Ted? Is it literally on your house? Sorry if you hear background noise, I live next to train tracks and a train is going by. Hardly ever goes by, actually. Only in the most inconvenient times, actually. Like when you're going to sleep. Um, other stuff. See, and I can't look up with this game either. So I have to get close to see things. Oh, oh God dang it, you can't grab the med kit! I said I wouldn't be doing this all stream, but I might be doing it all stream. <laughs> I just want to get these challenges over with. Not the water bottle! I think the devs do that on purpose. Because I can't look up, so I grab whichever is closest to Ted. And I can't do this. Again, I'm really sorry if- <gasps> Or maybe I can. Woo! Um, I'm really sorry if- Do not. Thank you. That was only for him. Um, I'm really sorry if I'm, like, really quiet during these. Um, it's just- I need to concentrate on this, and I say random stuff, like, even more random stuff than, uh, like, I normally do. I say random stuff. 
eight. Okay. Um, when I'm doing challenges because I panic. And I think I might do all of these. Do I need that? I need a med kit. Oh. What do I need? And after a while of bas just bashing stuff, as you can see, you just like eventually just destroy it. Which is cool and all, but it still gets in your way. Like that. Grab that out of instinct. I didn't need that either. I wish I could throw stuff. And not throw it in the bunker, I mean. Not the water. Oh man, I saw everything. Dang it. Come on. I can do this. Grab you. I need the flashlight. I don't need. See, with enough perseverance in any game mode, I could get what I want. But I'm mainly just looking for random stuff when it's like free mode. Talking messes me up when I do this. Oh no, I just need bullets. Where are the bullets? Where are the bullets? Where are the bullets? Where are those? No, okay, dang it. Where were the bullets? Dang it. Come on. Challenge after challenge after challenge. See, when I concentrate, it's like I get in the zone. That's why I'm so quiet. Focus. Gun. Bullets. Map. Beautiful. Water. Not the soup! You're an idiot, Ted! Dolores, I swear to God. Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh, just in time. Oh, Dolores. I would have been so mad if you costed me that. Ooh, winter hats. Ooh, those don't look comfy. Or bright at all. Though I guess that makes sense since this is like 19 something somethings. Especially since, you know, the old car, old houses, old ice cream truck, that kind of thing. It's at least like 1970s, I think. Wait, actually, let me search that up. When does uh, 60 seconds 
reatomized take place. Uh, takes place in the United States during the 1950s. The game follows the McDoodle family. What the heck? They have a last name? Ted McDoodle, Dolores McDoodle, Mary Jane McDoodle, and Timmy McDoodle. Timmy McDoodle is the only one that actually makes sense with the McDoodle, but... Mm. Alright then. Uh, over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I must have miscounted last time. This is eight. Holy crap, guns! <laughs> Freedom! That's a lot of guns and bullets. Where's the last set of bullets? <gasps> there it is! Yes! Merka! Woo! Nice. Got that one first try. Beautiful. Merka! Ooh, I love that. I love all of them. Ted just always look like looks like he's contemplating his existence. <laughs> Mary Jane does too. Oh, she got that from her father. <laughs> Timmy's like the only one that's like actually. I feel like Timmy would have ADHD or AD, at least ADD, but um, Timmy's the only one that's actually curious about things. Oh no. Babushka. Is that what it's called? Babushka. I like that. Alright, this might take a few tries, as normal. Come with me, Babushka. Whatever that means. I've heard it before. I know I have. I still know what it means. Where's the radio? 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 Oh, man. God dang it. One thing left. Come on. Please. Timmy? for actually being here. I don't know 
if I needed these. No, I didn't need them. They're useless. That's just beautiful. Is that Marilyn Monroe? I think that was Marilyn Monroe. People said the idiot blonde. No, you know, she was an actor. I'm not gonna make it, I don't have enough inventory space. Get the carts. Yes, I do! But I can't find the carts. Oh, there are the cards. God dang it. The tiny things. Man. Although I did also grab the two or three things that I didn't need. That's because I'm panicking. You better not screw this up for me. Oh, thank you. Woo! Nice. I am not redoing these challenges. I mean, I know it's- it does say that you can redo them, because you do have, like, a time limit. What's babushka? <laughs> I've heard it before, but I don't know what it means. Uh... Oh! In Poland and Russia, old woman or grandmother. Huh. I guess that makes sense. And the babushka... wear... cute little hats like these. Or bandanas, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Dad is wearing one. <laughs> is it grandpa's too? Hmm. I wonder about that. Well, good to know, at least. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six left! Nice! The little wolf. Oh, no. Alright, thanks, Ted. I guess you're gonna be a lone wolf, then. You're gonna risk it all just to be alone. Could also just put your family members in. Just stop talking. You could also put your family members in, um, in there and just like, I don't know, sacrifice yourself, maybe. Since you want to be such a moon wolf. Just a thought. Guess I'm still mad at Ted about the whole tornado soup incident. The TS incident. for the stuff too. No, not the med kit, because the med kit is two. Okay. Right. Okay, so I wouldn't have made it anyways. Dang it. Alright, Lone Wolf Ted, let's try this again. You just sacrifice your family. No, this is my bunker in my house. Kind of crap, I don't know.
Oh my god, I can't get to it. This is... Oh my god, seriously, Ted. Oh, that probably failed it, didn't it? Where's the map? I can't find the map. Yep, that failed it. Dang it, god dang horse. Where's the map? Is it here? Oh, the map is over there. Ah, it's too late now. In the cutscene where he dives, he doesn't, like, dive into anything. He just- I mean, he dives into the ground, yeah. And he protects his head, even though that's not gonna help against a nuclear weapon. But... Not that bright, Ted. Dang it. Where's the map? Where's the map? Probably on the other side of the house. God dang it. Man! Crap. Oh, tomato soup gods, please have mercy on me. My soul. My desperate, desperate soul. I just want to get all the hats because I'm a collector. Or anything. They say there's only a lover and a fighter. Get the gas mask. They say there's only a lover fight and a fighter, but I believe there's a lover, fighter, and a collector. And I'm definitely the collector. Desperate situation. I highly doubt there's a collector, but ah. Uh... I beg to differ. I can do this. Promise. It is all not for not. Does that make sense? No. Do I make sense most of the time? No. Going in here was useless. Dang it, I'm gonna fail this one. Dang it. Bullets! Go, Ted, go, 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 go! Yes! tomato gods for having tomato soup gods for having oh that's actually a lone wolf hat is that a cowboy hat that almost looks like a cowboy hat well i guess that would make sense still soup gods thank you oh 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Nice! Only five left! Beautiful. And we did the soup challenge. like a date hunt for you guys or something? If it's only you and her. Rip the thingy! Uh, you? Uh, Where's the other? There it is. Yeah, screw you kids. Uh, uh, oh, I didn't need that. Thank cards. Lock the chess. Chess, where is the lock? Lock. There we go. Nice. That one was easier. Four? Do not. That sound scares the crap out of me. I don't know if you could hear it. I hope you can. You can't even see your eyes, that's terrifying. Okay. How does that look like Timmy's life? Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah! Nice! We're gonna finish the challenges! Whether it takes the rest of the stream or not! I swear to god, it better not. Oh, god dang it, I forgot. You... This... Oh no... Christmas... the map okay beautiful I think they were the harder ones um the more you went to the left or right I'll explain when I get back there <gasps> oh I got an achievement for that I do like me some achievements you might not be able to see see the achievements, but I can, obviously. I mean, you could see them here. I don't look at that in just a second, but... Um, like, this is the first one that you're technically supposed to do, and, and then I think you're supposed to go to the right. And then they get harder as they progress, but I think I went left. And then they these ones were the hardest. Maybe. I'm, I'm gonna jinx it by saying that. Yeah. But, that's just what I think. Personally, that's what I think. You come in with me. Did I need that? I didn't need that. Oh, it's Halloween. I have to stay in the spirit of things. You're a trumpet playing or trombone or whatever it is. Playing is terrifying, to say the least. Water. Oh, wait, did I grab the radio? I grabbed the radio. Oh, I'm gonna fail this. Dang it. Yeah. Well, I know I feel bad. Because I grabbed the radio instead of the suitcase. So the radio and the suitcase are very alike when you're looking at it through a wall. They're both rectangles. And they're both about the same size. Yeah, like this. 
at something else. I just like try to shake the screen. say no or no room. I know the text says no room, but I can't tell what he's saying. I can't tell if he's saying no room or no. It makes sense for both. But, hmm. Huh. Terrifying! Go in the bunker! Oh, I didn't need the med kit! God dang it, I thought I needed that. See, the map stays the same, but the thing- the objects arrange. Like, rearrange themselves each time. So I kind of know which directions to go. There's nothing up there. But it's still difficult when Ted slides like a monkey on ice. Two more. Two more and we got this. Come on, I've been at this for an hour and 40 minutes, but I am almost done. And if they're not that hard, it shouldn't be too long. Although I shouldn't say that because I'm going to jinx myself completely. And then I think afterwards, I think I might try a little survival. See what that's like. Yep, two more. Oh. No. Oh no. Am I gonna be mad at axes as well? I'm still mad at the soup. Oh, that looks very threatening. And reminiscent to something which I will not speak of. Even though they're not the correct tools. All the older viewers should know what I'm talking about. Or just any viewer knowledgeable, I suppose. Gas mask. Dang it, I 
thought it was in this room. Wait, where is it? Wait, where is it? Oh no, really? Where? Oh god dang it. Ted, you have one job. That's to retrieve the items and get in there before the timer runs out. One job. You're an idiot, Ted. I'm gonna be honest. Not the soup! Ted, you are such an idiot! Where's the other ones? I can't find the other ones! Where are they? Oh, the fridge. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Dang it! Okay, well apparently they can be in anything. I just can't see them because they're actually really thin. They have a specific shape. Obviously. Since, you know, it's an axe. Is that picture of a dead? God dang. There's one here. There it is. So you just have to shimmy the screen. Oh wait, god dang it, I missed it. Whatever, I can get this one. The other two are, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it. This one? This one. Ted, go. Ted, go. Ted, go. Yes! Beautiful. Don't play that sound. It terrifies me. Oh, okay. Oh, I actually kind of like that. That one, at least. I don't like the hair part of it, but it is Viking, so... Eh, blonde is... Actually pretty common with Viking girls, I think. I don't know. I wasn't born in the Viking period. Well, I mean, unless you believe in reincarnation, but... I digress. I'm not a Viking. Last one! Nice! Am I gonna get an achievement for finishing all these? I better. I know I get an achievement for wearing a hat. Also, don't know why the countdown is being so generous to me. Like why it gives me a few seconds to wander around. I didn't need that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. 
find the map and let's lock it. God damn it. Ugh. I'm close though. I this is the last one. That um a tomato soup one? Holy crap, that one was the hardest by far though. I don't need that. Just need the food. I see the briefcase. Beautiful. Will I make it? Yes! Oh, beautiful! That was the last one! Nice! Challenges! No challenge shall be left undefeated. She'll get all the hats. Not have all the hats. Well, I should. Unless they update the game. Oh, I've had enough soup. I've got all the hats, but I didn't get an achievement for getting all of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, I think. Yeah, I think it was 17. Oh boy, that was a lot. But I got something. I got one achievement at least. Uh, I got this one. Let me meet the holiday scavenge town. It did say I wouldn't get many achievements from the challenges. And that's fine, because we'll focus on achievements and endings next time. But for now, I want to try the survival, actually. Uh, oh, are, are these te- Oh yeah, it is a challenge. Technically. Final countdown. A woman and her dog. Oh, <gasps> puppy! I get to finally see the puppy! Shelter- Shelter alone? Oh no. Survival of the fittest. Uh, responsible parenting. Scout's honor. Battle counter. Okay, so there's not much. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. We'll do this one. Reward- Reward toy skin for that stuff? Okay. Survive for 99 days? <gasps> oh no. Bearded collie skin? I don't even have the dog. A woman and her dog. Let me do this one. Don't lose the dog. Survive for 50 days. I have survived for 50 days once, I think. Uh, Expeditions disabled. Oh no. That's not good. That is really not good. Okay, is it gonna give me stuff? Or am I gonna... Okay, it's good. It's just gonna give me stuff. Oh no. Well, I guess that's what the puppy looks like. Hey, puppy! Pancake! That's your name! See, you don't make a noise, but you make a noise. You're very cute, pancake. Yeah, I, sur I have to survive for 50 days. Um, when fire rains down from the sky, it's every woman for herself. Well, woman and a filthy dog named Pancake. At least it's not mutated yet. I can't lose the dog. If I lose the dog, then it's just game over. Um, we'll have to get along till the rescue comes. Maybe the dog will prove useful. Someone has to bring in supplies and the shelter cannot be left 
unguarded, so regular trips to the surface are out of the question. I mean, it wouldn't be unguarded if he was here. The messenger on the radio said the army is on its way, but it will, will take them around 50 days. Will this give me the army ending? It will take them 50 days to arrive. It's not going to be easy, but we must hold out. We wouldn't want to perish just before they got here. How embarrassing would that be? Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to give you water every three days, and then I'm gonna give you food every six days. Wait. No, I'm gonna give you water every three days, and then I'm gonna give you- I'm writing this down. <laughs> and then I'm gonna give you food every five days. So, food, five, water, three. I don't think I have to feed the dog. Um, how about that lake we've been going to the past few years? It'd be good to find out ourselves, ourselves there far away from all this madness. Swim a little, maybe take a boat ride, even if the whole place is turned into Adamville. Survive for 50 days, don't lose the dog. I don't know how I would lose the dog, but since this is my first time with the dog, but I also haven't had Sherikov with the dog. I don't know if I can get achievements from a survival. Uh, we can take care of ourselves. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything complain to complain about today. Okay. Um, we have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country, so there's a good chance she's still configuring her cow counting machine and not worrying about nukes raining down on her house. Too bad we don't have a photo of her, or do we? We put some photos into the books a while ago after the giant coffee spill incident. <laughs> not the coffee spill incident. Coffee's disgusting. No, oh, that's probably the parents' fault. Oh, and she's insane. Isn't she? Yep, she's insane. Okay, what about you, puppy? You're good. You good, puppy. Um, should I do every three days or should I do every five days for the water too? Maybe I should do five days for the water too. It might be a stretch, but I'm going to try it. Let me put five there. It might be a stretch. And so we were left with no photos, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. Water is all Dolores wants. Dolores is sunny, is questionable. Okay, I don't have much. We felt that we should do something about the interior decoration. Feng Shui is really often. Feng Shui. Oh. Feng Shui. <laughs> um, is really often our fallout shelter. Well. I did hear that I could customize it with these survival challenges, so I'm working on it, Dolores. Uh, when we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. Uh, I guess I'm not finding out. Please don't kill Dolores by making her wait five days. Please. Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Whatever is behind that door will have to stay there. We also stack some furniture against it just to be sure nothing and no one comes through them. Dolores is still is in full control of her mind. She has cards. We're not sure what monsters are inhabiting it, but we wish they would just go away. The monsters are minor. The monsters in the bunker. Uh, Dolores will not survive without water any longer. One more day, right, Dolores? Ah, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fallout garden. We got a bunch of mushrooms growing in one of the walls they're big enough to be eaten how about that should we prepare a mushroom feast well you do have a med kit and you do have a med kit so and you're already crazy so sure try it please be good 
Okay, she's not sick. Dehydration. Okay. Those were delicious. Only... Our only concern is that they were glowing in the dark. And no, we are too for that matter. Oh. And Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Dolores isn't doing very well. Her sanity is very questionable. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, uh, we have a situation on our hands. There's a group approaching our shelter and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Not at all. They look like they're out for blood or cans. Probably cans. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, this is a ter terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. Bugs Bay! Is that gonna work, actually? Oh, please tell me they're not gonna take the water. Oh my god, they took the water! Oh, wait. Oh, thank god, they- Oh, they didn't take take anything. It was just gone. And dang, the, that puppy has bangs, though. Um, but killing spray may be primarily used for killing insects, but it works equally well as a bandit repellent as long as you aim for their eyes. How do I save someone from the bandits? Uh, the reaction is quite instant. We're safe for now, but for how much longer? And is the spray going to be enough to drive the low lifes away next time? Probably not. Uh, well, considering it's gone, no. Dolores is clearly giving in to the madness. We wish we could stop it. I generally don't care. As long as she doesn't die and so long as Pancake doesn't die. Pancake is beautiful. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green to show up at your doorstep and claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. Oh no, they're gonna take from me. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? They might provide some quality entertainment. Oh, they're gonna take from me because I have the map, the radio, the axe, the cards. Oh, they're gonna take from me. No. Um, we didn't answer those particular car calls and kept the door locked until the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure what we want those people to come back. They sound harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? No. They may be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. Dolores is very unpredictable. Sometimes we're a bit afraid of her. She's gonna die from that craziness, isn't she? We woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed there's leaking from the pipes. That green liquid looked innocent enough. Even after it ate through the table and the chair and the floor, patching up that pipe is probably a good idea. How am I gonna patch it up with a gas mask? Is it gonna waste the gas mask? Please don't waste the gas mask. It's gonna waste the gas mask. Oh, it didn't! Okay. She's thirsty. Pancake. Oh, you're such a good boy, Pancake. Ha, ah, problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Dolores isn't doing very well. Her sanity is very questionable. Dolores has to drink sometimes. All because I didn't have a book. Pancake seems eager to run outside for a while. Maybe he'll break back something interesting. I have to try. Pancake, come back, please. Okay. Okay, he came back. Did he bring me a gun? He brought me a gun! Good boy, but that's not a stick. Good job, Pancake. He's really earning his keep here. This one. Just keep doing what you're doing. We'll be out of here soon. Dolores isn't in full control of her mind. I'm not sure what monsters are inhabiting it, but we wish they would just go away. Do not jinx it! There will be actual monsters in the walls. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Oh, she's gonna have to wait one more day. Hey, Pancake, who's a good boy? Wait a minute. Is he hungry? He sure is. But we share one of those tasty tomato soup cans with him. Oh, no. Well, I do have one left, but... Okay, this is gonna be really difficult. Okay, she's sane. She's just dehydrated. Okay, we need supplies, quick. He took the entire can. 
Well, now don't eat the canned pancake. Easy boy. Hopefully that tomato soup will keep them happy for a while. Yeah, hopefully a while. It's like 20 days or something. Hard to believe it's already been 10 days. We're bored. We could always use more supplies and dog hair is flying everywhere, but we're still alive. Yeah, we could use, like, I don't know, food and water? Um, Dolores needs to survive too. Dolores will not survive without any longer. Dolores is sane again. Surprisingly. Thank you, Pancake! Oh, uh, we were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged clothing. God dang it, if only I had bullets. I think the loot might be random. Each time I do a survival. I guess I'm probably gonna die soon, so I guess we'll see, but... Uh, she claims to be a hunter tracking a mutated big monster. She ran out of ammo and told us that if we were able to help her out, she'd pay us back in a while. Sorry, I only have a gun. That is apparently loaded. Which is very strange. Uh, this woman says she hunts for mostly food. Clearly she's an uncivilized savage. Who needs to be civilized in... Uh, the literal apocalypse, Dolores. Delicious soup is what decent people eat these days. Oh yeah, delicious soup. Also very annoying and mind-jarring soup. We were not amused and didn't give her anything. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Well, I was amused by that, but man. If there's one way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on our shelter door. Whoever it is, they've been quite persistent. They've been at it for the past five minutes. Should we open? Yes. Who are you? Sherikov? Not Sherikov. I guess that's- I think that's a good thing. We opened the hatch, but nobody was there. Damn pranksters making a joke even after the apocalypse. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. What the pancake? Pancake, good boy. Oh, two more. I'm gonna survive up to day 20. Maybe like 25 at max. And I don't even know about pancake because I can't give him food. I don't have food. But we put that radio to good use. Something might be on air even now. Might as well. Have it. Maybe I should have let those marry men in. And the radio is broken. Good job, Dolores. Oh damn it! Something blew up inside the radio, and the wretched thing caught fire. We were able to put it out, but it doesn't work anymore. Dolores will not last long without water. Well, too bad. Uh, there are the noises again. Noises, weird noises, all of them. Are they coming from the pipes, walls? Is something behind the door? It's something about these voices. Like, it says, like, answer the voices or something. I think this just makes them all insane, but there's one achievement that's, like, where you have to answer the voices, and I think that's, like, you make them all insane or something like that. We don't know when it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax, otherwise we might get paranoid. You mean you and Pancake, or just you? You're the human in this situation. Well, I'd hope. Okay, she didn't break the car, so that's good. Having some fun made us forget about... What was it again? Dolores will not survive long without water. Um... Her supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. Uh, I'm sure desperation can be a smell after, I don't know, two weeks of... Staying in there, definitely. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folk from their retirement home. It shouldn't be hard to borrow some of their supplies. They're old anyway, and we need them more, right? This is really dangerous, but I'm sorry. Okay, it's not the end. That's good. Did I get something? I got a bloody handprint. And checkers. That's... You had to fight for checkers, Dolores. You were such a disgrace. We went, we got what we needed and came back. We're sure it'll do just fine. Most probably. Yeah, absolutely. Dolores will not survive long. Beep. Beep. 
Uh, Pancake seemed eager to go outside for a while. I think he could run away, but I have to risk it for the food. Maybe he will bring back something interesting. I think he could only bring back like one thing, maybe? Okay, it's not the end. He brought back soup. Good boy. Now you can also bring back water, perhaps? Good job, Pancake. Although cans are not our first choice of meal, the ones brought back by Pancake will be just fine. Wouldn't they have, like, in teeth incisions in them or something? I don't know. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Uh, day 20. There isn't a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. When one of the bricks got loose today to reveal the hole, we felt pretty sick. The smell is coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? Could be dangerous, but I have to. This will be dangerous. Okay. I hear radioactivity, and I see another can of soup. I need water, not soup. Although, I guess I do need to feed Pancake. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or mutated sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to sneak- Who was trying to break into a can of s tomato soup. Failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him. So we confiscated it. We gave the rat our proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Well, don't put the can in your bunker, because the dog might eat it. Well, actually, that might be a good thing. More food for the dog, I guess. Uh, Dolores is fine and well as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Hey, it's not that tiny when it's just you and a dog. Instead of your other family members. Come to ration supplies. Uh, no. Pancake is a great companion, but for some bizarre reason he has been hanging around a lot of soup cans. Maybe he wants a taste? I have to. I can't have him run away. Okay, only one went. That's good. Well now, don't eat the can, Pancake. Easy boy. Hopefully that tomato soup will keep him happy for a while. Water is all Dolores wants. Uh, no... The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, then we'll get seriously- get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple days. How about we do something to fix it? Yeah, just use a gas mask. Cause that'll totally help the dog. Hey, Pancake. Oh, you're such a good boy. Do you bark? Yeah. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If we can survive just a little bit longer, dirty ears should- What? I gotta use the gas mask. Oh, it says dibs on the gas mask. Well, it's a you and a dog. I think you're the only one that can claim dibs. Um, Dirty ears shouldn't be much of a pro problem. Just to be sure, dibs on the gas mask. Dolores will not survive long without any water any longer. Well, she's gonna have to survive one more day. We're about to go to sleep when we heard scratching from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discovered it was much worse. Someone on the other side of the door was trying to pry it open. We need to act. X! Or pancake. Don't take my dog. He didn't take my dog. He didn't give me anything. And I lost an axe. God dang it. Some axe action. Some action. <laughs> I'm funny. It was enough to send those cowards running. Bet your ass they'll be back. Vermin like that are never gone long. They crawl out of the shadows when the night comes. Let's keep our axe sharp. Yeah, it's broken. Every day is a struggle, but it's one paw in front of the other. Until the rescue finally comes. I have only 30 more days. Yeah, 30 more days. And we'll be away from all this horror. Anywhere is better than here, especially if there's coffee. Coffee is disgusting! How about for chocolate milk or hot chocolate? Uh, Dolores will not survive long without any water. Well, I'm lucky for her. Today is her day. And... Do I have to give Pancake water? Pancake has been very be behaved lately, and with this padlock, perhaps he could sneak out together for a short supply. 
five run and lock the shelter behind us? I don't think he could do that, but... Uh, sure, let me try. Is it gonna get rid of my padlock? I know I could... It's gonna get rid of my padlock, but I got a flashlight and... Soup can... And bullets. At least I have bullets. But I need water! Um... What else was it? The padlock in our shelter finally came handy. We used it to rescue our home when leaving for an expedition. When we came back, we found signs of an attempted break-in. The padlock is too damaged to be used again, but at least the safe house is, well, safe. Our house wasn't the only one to suffer. Most of the neighborhood is destroyed by the blast. The street was completely covered with piles of rubble. That's not surprising. Chunks of walls and roof tiles, a rare passerby and a gas mask can occasionally be seen from a distance. Scavenging for supplies. We found a refrigerator refrigerator in the middle don't take the credit. It's the dogs. It's thank to thanks to the dog that we got this. Uh, we found a refrigerator in the middle of the neighbor's lawn. Even without electricity, the light inside was still on. Uh, can that happen from radioactivity? That's weird. It contained quite a few soup cans and surprisingly a brown fedora. It wasn't edible. We tried. <laughs> okay, so this is like the dog's point of view. Uh, a band of kids was playing in nearby ruins. They had plenty of real guns and ammunition. It's very encouraging to see kids... That kids are making the best of this terrible, terrible situation, even if they shared, they even shared some ammunition with us. Nice, and a flashlight. How much can you carry, dog? The debris formed a tunnel of sorts. At the end of the tunnel, there was a bright light. We were amazed. We were frightened. We were curious. We soon discovered the meaning of all of us. Yep, it was a flashlight. <laughs> Lawrence is no longer thirsty. <gasps> water! Oh, I need water. Ah, oh, how much is it? It's one. Oh, no. Do I trade the cards? Yes, because I have checkers. Oh, can I only do one? It's one for each, so I'm gonna get rid of the flashlight. Apparently I can only do one. Stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claimed a traitor looking he claimed he's a traitor looking to barter for items he requires. Okay. See, I need to trade like trade successfully 30 times. And oh it did work. Um, I need to trade successfully 30 times to get an achievement. And I think I've done it like I actually don't know how many times I've done it so far. At least 10, I think. Though I'm not sure. After making the trade, the man packed his things into a wheel wheelbarrow and departed. Before leaving, he uttered something about bandit activity nearby and how dangerous the area is. The Loris is pretty fatigued. Life is hard for all of us right now, but the Loris is in a good mood today. We'll hope it stays this way. Well, it doesn't matter which mood she's in. Dan Cake is quite agitated. Let him out for a run seems like a good idea. Maybe he'll find something interesting. Oh, he could run away, though. Dan Cake, please. Please, please, please. Cool kid. Thank you, Pancake. Oh, he got more soup. Pancake, you are beautiful. I love you, Pancake. Good job, Pancake. Although cans are not our first choice of meal... Um, the ones brought back by Pancake will be just fine. Dolores will not last long without water. Not too bad. We really miss the life we had. The space, this guy, the food, more food. We wish you could go back to a time before this damn bomb dropped. Yeah, but you can't. Wait, why are you tired, Dolores? Wait, are you tired? Fatigued. Why are you fatigued? You're literally doing nothing. Do I have an extra soup can or is that just me? No. Okay. What we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. I'm almost halfway there. I can do this. 
The pancake. Who's a good boy? Wait a minute. Is he hungry? He sure is. How about we share one of those tasty tomato soup cans with him? Sure. I got enough. Was that bats? That might have been bats. Oh, we don't need bats. We don't need to be getting sick. Well, now, don't eat them. The canned pancake. Easy boy. Hopefully that tomato soup will keep him happy for a while. Dolores will not survive long without without water any longer. Okay. There we go. Thankfully I don't have to give him uh, pancake water. I say that and I'm gonna drink that. Uh, the trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans and that's unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? <gasps> oh, that might actually be the radioactive roaches that turn Mary Jane into a beast. I don't know. It could be any of the roaches that do that. But I think I'm just supposed to leave all the roaches alone to do that. Oh no! That's not good. Yucky mutant cockroach. Oh, it made a noise. Pancake, as much as I'd say eat it, I don't want you to get injured. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We're already we already feel dirty. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Is she infected? She's not infected. Please, we're halfway there. Today we met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They came, claimed to be a field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. Their problem is some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking us if we have any hy spare hydrogen peroxide. No. I mean, do I, ha I have this radioactive bug? That's any help. Okay, the bug didn't move. That's a good thing. Hey, Pancake. Ugh. You're fine. We don't think we were, they were real doctors, but just in case they were, we got rid of them quickly before they could start charging us for a home visit. <laughs> Dolores is fine and well. Well, that is American healthcare system. Um, as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Okay. Uh, wait till day 30. We've never felt weird, but today we had to revisit the term. It seems that our little green pests, yes, trying to communicate with us. One was even holding something that resembled a sign which read, We can in peace. What on earth do they mean? Oh, I wonder. Well, I guess if they're telling the truth, then I guess that's a good thing, but I don't have Mary Jane. They don't know how to get the roaches back. Probably just like not dealing with the roaches. Oh no, she's insane. Really, Dolores? They're not helping. This is insane. Why should we talk to roaches? Are we going insane? Are we? Water is over worse bones. Dolores' is sanity is questionable. Okay. Uh, roaches seem to be more organized with every passing day. At first, it was just one or two of them. But nowadays, we see small columns of them marching through the shelter. We need to deal with this situation before their civ civilization becomes superior to ours. Is there more? I don't see more. I only see one. Should be fine. Right? They said they come in peace. Okay, apparently they do come in peace, but they like to make radioactive noises. That's for god dang sure. Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us. There's not much we can do about it, about it anyway. Maybe one day we'll manage to convince them to pay the rent. <laughs> Dolores is very unpredictable. Sometimes we're a bit afraid of her. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Pancake seems to eager to run outside for a while. Maybe we'll bring back something interesting. Please don't leave, Pancake. Okay, thank God. 
Pancake, I need water. Okay, you're sane again. That's good. He didn't bring back anything, did he? Oh, he brought back a flashlight, actually. Good job, Pancake. We don't know how we'll... How we could survive without a flashlight. Oh, yeah, totally. Flashlight. Not, you know, water. But you're doing the best you can, Pancake. So Loris isn't doing anything, so it's all Loris' fault. Well, we survived without one until now, but that doesn't mean anything. It's been 30 days since we got stuck in this hellhole. The walls might be slowly closing in and the supplies may be running low, but at least we got each other. Any conversation is better than none. Any conversation? He's a dog! Although, to be fair, I do talk to my dogs. Even though they don't respond to me. Um... But at least we got each other. Any conversation is better than none, even one that consists of primarily of barking. Yeah. Loris will not survive without water any longer, but Loris is sane again. There we go. Ooh. Do we need the map? I don't think we need. Unless I could trade the map. There's like another trader. Uh, someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type. It was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the items she had brought along. I'll do that one. Sorry, Pancake, to get rid of the thing you just got for me, but... have to. Um... We managed to work out a deal. The woman also gave us some tips about surviving the wasteland, but her advice seems pretty useless. We already know that radiation is dangerous and that hitting a rat with a stick will eventually kill it. We thanked her and said our goodbyes. Dolores is no longer thirsty. But you, Pancake. Yeah, you want food. Pancake is a great companion, but for some bizarre reason, he's been hanging around a lot of soup games. Maybe he wants a taste? Probably. If I don't feed him, he probably runs off. Um, well, no, don't eat the canned pancake, easy boy, because apparently the kids can run off. I mean, Dolores hasn't run off before. Although, I don't know if she can. And Ted obviously can't, because I think he's the main character. Unless he just goes insane, because Timmy did. I don't know. Um... Hopefully that tomato soup will keep him happy for a while. The horse is fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine in this tiny shelter. Hey, some door door salesmen found our way to the shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join the at something called the Astro Citizen. But we refused. Now he just wants supplies and says he will reveal state secrets to us re in return. Is that an ending? I don't think so. I think it's just... I think it's just uh, that guy being derpy, I'm gonna be honest. As a rule, we don't trust door-to-door -door salesmen. Uh, especially ones who attempt treason. Oh, well, I guess state secrets would be treason. Uh, we told him to go back to whatever planet he dropped to Earth from. He got angry and stormed off, mumbling something about how our souls are going to be down devoured by the air alien lord Zontar. Poor guy, he seemed very confused. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Well, she's gonna have to wait two more days. Wait, is there any more? Okay, no. Uh, we always wanted a pet, but we just couldn't decide what to get. A cat, a dog, no matter. We have our very own cockroach colony now. You have a cockroach colony and a beautiful puppy. Let me pet you. Yeah, good boy. Um, unless we want them to stay in play fetch, we should start doing something to drive them out. Though the fetch option is quite likely. They're as big as small puppies. Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, they're big, sure, but they're as big as a bottle at max. Okay, they're fine. They said they come in peace. Living with roaches can't be too bad, right? Even if they're stealing your pillows, socks, the wallets. Why would roaches need wallets? <laughs> and that smell is horrible. Dolores will not survive 
can have water any longer. Okay, just making sure. Not insane. Please don't die, Dolores. Please. We have a situation on our hands. There's a group approaching our shelter, and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Not at all. They look like they're out for blood. Or cans. Probably cans. This is a terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Well, I mean, you stole from old people, and by the looks of it, you hurt slash killed them. Um... Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. Gun. Does that work? Okay, the gun is broken. And I don't think anything was taken. You really use the merry men right about now. I got an X! The gunfight was intense, but our position gave us an advantage. We need to drive those thugs away. Th we needed to drive those thugs away. Uh, one of them even lost an axe while retreating. We'll make sure it's used for the right reasons, specifically not robbing us. Oh damn it, we spoke too soon. We think the gun is broken. What do we do now? Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Okay, uh, Pancake, could you go out, please? Pancake has been very- Yes! Very well behaved lately. And with this padlock, perhaps we could sneak out together for a short supply run and lock the shelter behind us. Oh, both of you going out. That makes sense. Oh, please. Oh, thank God. Ooh, okay. <gasps> oh, thank you! When we came back to the shelter, we were relieved to discover that it was still locked, but the padlock carries signs of an attempted break-in. But whoever gave it a try did not succeed in, succeed in getting inside. Sadly, the padlock is in a sorry state, and we can't really use it anymore. Well, we should have, like, an axe or, like, a machete or something. And Well, maybe not a machete. Something big and tough? And then they would be able to break the padlock and get in. They broke the padlock, but they didn't get in. That doesn't make sense. Before our expedition could get anywhere, we ran into a group of freaking people dressed like wizards. They were eager enough to trade some of their supplies for a few items. It sounded like a fair deal, so we invited them in. <gasps> Three and two soup cans. Oh my god, we live in rich pancake. They were really ecstatic about purchasing a pair of old socks, which had been- Oh, <gasps> wait, I just realized that was fixed. Was that just fixed now? About purchasing a pair of old socks, which had been lying in the corner for some time now, living their whole life, their own life. The wizards got them in exchange for a few bottles of water. Three bottles of water for probably like two or one dirty socks. It says socks, so I'm guessing two at least. One of them placed the socks on their ears and started to dance. Oh, okay, so they're lunatics. They had some food with them we actually bought with real pre-apocalypse money. They thought the coins we gave them were magical. We didn't argue. Okay, yep. Oh, yeah, it was fixed. Uh, they really wanted to sell us their radio. They claimed it was evil and whispers about the return of the Dark Lord. We gave them a bottle cap. <laughs> okay, well, that's beautiful. I love that. Pancake is quite agitated. Let him out for a run. Seems like a good idea. Oh, Pancake, please. Please, 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 please. Okay. Hasn't ended yet. Thank you, Pancake. I love you, buddy. <gasps> Soup can. I love you. Let me, let me give you pets. Let me give you pets. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, my dog is jealous. I keep saying good boy, and he just keeps looking at me like, how dare you betray me? Um. Good job, Pancake. Although. Cans are not our first choice of meal. You can't be picky in the apocalypse. The ones brought back by Pancake will do just fine. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We'll hope it stays this way. 
Okay. What's that sound? A galloping horse we rushed to the door, greeted by two men dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. Now, we identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks, hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was pretending to be a rider. <laughs> they said they were looking for an empty cup, but they lost. They got lost and said they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map. We provided. Provided we have one. Sure. Please don't break our map. Please. Okay. It's not broken. Nice. <gasps> oh, why wow, I'm living rich. They seem friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We gracious gra graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. The lords can't remain thirsty for this long. Okay. Oh yeah, her cheeks are sunken in. Okay, um, should I? I don't know. I don't want her to die. No, 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 I don't want to get rid of the roaches either. They come in peace, they're fine. They're not doing any harm. Okay, one more day, Dolores. One more day, puppy. Um, I'll give you pets. Uh, our time will come, but for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to this living situation. They're here, we're here, let's make the best of it. They're only cockroaches, after all. Dolores will not survive long without any- without water any longer. Dolores would really love to eat something. One more day, please. Pancake is a great companion, but for some bizarre reason, he has been hanging around a lot of soup cans. Maybe he wants a taste? Of course he does. He's fluffy, he's gonna eat too. Is he surviving like 10 days? On a soup can? That's actually genuinely surprising. Good boy, pancake. Um, well now, don't eat the pan- go to, Don't eat the can, pancake. Easy boy. Hopefully that tomato soup will keep him happy for a while. Oh. Uh, one has to maintain relationships in these circumstances, and 40 days together in a cramped space will teach anyone some humility. Uh, we bark politely to each other every morning and communicate via meaningful glances and body language. Well, you can at least play fetch with him with like a ball or something. Unless he's just like not an energetic type dog. Well, he looks like he would be like a golden retriever or something. I don't know. Maybe a muddy golden retriever, but still. Um, only ten more days of this madness and we'll be free. Free! Don't, don't change it, Dolores. Dolores, Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Dolores is not eating any more. How about that trip to Nevada? We've been postponing for a while now. Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Okay. Where do you live exactly? Are you close to Nevada? Uh, our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Dolores is no longer hungry. Okay. The other day we heard quite a knock on our door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep. There was no one around. Oh no! It isn't signed, but it looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? I have to. Is that a rat? Okay, Sherikov's not here. Thank God. No! <gasps> one water bottle! Oh my God, that's perfect! Oh my God, I love that. Here, you get pets for that. You didn't do anything but being a good boy, but you're still a good boy anyways. I love you, Pancake. He's so pretty. I'm an animal lover. There's no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking it out of the suitcase, but it looks like... It looks absolutely harmless and purified. We hope to meet this generous stranger one day and thank him or her personally for keeping our family well hydrated. I think that might have been the military, actually. Uh, Dolores is quite calm given the situation. 
they do have to probably like stop at other bunkers maybe but they like gave that to us as like a show of hey we're still coming for you so you know that kind of thing i don't know seems that for every cockroach we squash with our two boots two others take its place don't squash them they're they're friendly um two others take its place uh it's time to do something about it before we get completely overrun it's fine Pancake, if you want to go out, please don't run away. Please, we are so close. Our time will come, but for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to this living situation. They're here, we're here. Let's make the best of it. They're only cockroaches, after all. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Okay. Pancake is eager to go outside. Maybe he'll bring back something interesting. Pancake, please don't. Okay. Thank you, Pancake. Hello, everybody. Did anything happen? I don't know if anything happened. Oh, I got a padlock. Nice. Good job, Pancake. He's really earning his keep here. This one. Just keep doing what you're doing. We'll be out of here soon. Dolores is not eaten for a while. He genuinely won't be out of here in six days. Uh, Dolores will not survive long without any water. Ooh. I don't think so. Uh, we... We heard a knock on our door this morning. We held our breath in fear, but soon we heard children's voices coming from the outside. We decided to open it up. It turned out to be the, vo the voices... It turned out the voices belonged to a pair of girls, Scouts. They used to sell cookies, but they have branched out, and now they offer other items, too. Smart girls. Girl Scout cookies are amazing. They are irresistible. Great, all of the girls are very brave to walk around the wasteland like that. Sadly, they didn't have anything of interest to us, so we declined their offer. They wish us a nice day left. Oh. Dolores will not survive long without any water. Dolores has not eaten a while. Okay, bleep, bleep. Mutant rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All of these options are pretty grim. Um, well, they better not attack the soup. Because I need to give one to Pancake, I think. Or at least on day 49, I think. Um, all of these options are pretty grim. We could use spare ammunition or something else to get rid of these pests. Beep beep. Did it do anything? Okay. I don't know if you have to like aggravate the roaches by attacking them to get um to get Mary Jane to turn into a monster. But I'm not sure. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Oh, guess we'll st we're still stop at the top of the food chain. Good for us. And apparently the cockroaches and the dog too. Boop, boop, boop. Um, Dolores is no longer hungry. Dolores is no longer thirsty, but Pancake probably is. Yep. Hey, Pancake, who's a good boy? Wait a minute, is he hungry? He sure is. How about we share one of those tasty tomato soup cans with him? Yeah. We gotta feed our puppy. Of course. It's not day 49, but I'm genuinely not surprised by that. Uh, well now, don't eat the canned pancake. Easy boy. Hopefully that tomato soup will keep him happy for a while. Loris has not eaten for a while. He's probably still hungry. I'm not gonna lie. The roaches seem to be more organized with every passing day. At first it was just one or two of them, but nowadays we see small columns of them marching through the shelter. This is their home too now. We need to deal with this situation before their civilization becomes superior to ours. Out. They come in peace. Oh, and she's sick. That's beautiful. Our time will come.
but for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to this living situation. They're here, we're here, let's make the best of it. They're only cockroaches after all. Yeah, giant glowing green cockroaches. Uh, Dolores would really love to eat something. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Dolores got fuel. Um... We're getting out of here soon anyways. We should be fine. Pancake has been very well behaved lately. Please come back, Pancake. Okay, I saw the cards. Did I, I did get cards. And I got more water and, and more soup, I think. Okay, that is beautiful. Our padlock in our shelter finally came handy. We used it to secure our home when leaving for an expedition. When we came back, we found signs of an attempt at breaking. Padlock is too damaged to be used again, but at least our safe house is, well, safe. A pile of car wrecks revealed that we stumbled that we stumbled across a pile of car wrecks revealed that we stumbled across a big parking lot almost no car survived the blast wave but we went between the wrecks to explore anyway another burnt remains of a picnic table we found some bottled water um the bottles are not in the best state but their contents are perfectly drinkable two for both nice Seems like the bomb interrupted someone's picnic. Thankfully, they were big fans of tomato soup and the indestructible cans. <laughs> indestructible cans. We're scattered around the parking lot. Uh, they were having a picnic in a parking lot? That's weird. Uh, there was a really nice motorbike standing a bit to the side next to the car wrecks. Or rather, it used to be nice. There's not much left of it now. How can you tell it was nice, though? Upon inspecting the bags attached to the bike, we found a working flashlight. The horse is no longer hungry, thirsty, and was cured. Okay, beautiful. Alert, there's a- Ooh, there's a gang of firefighters outside. Or at least they dress like ones. They're banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. They claim they will drive us out with fire if we don't comply. I guess the definition of a firefighter has somewhat changed recently. How do we oppose them? Well, I'm not gonna lie, they might actually have fire. So, this. Okay, what happened? Was I safe? <gasps> I was saved by the military! Yes! I didn't get an achievement, though, so maybe I have to do that in the actual difficulty thing. Some axe action was enough to send those cowards running. Bet your ass they will come back. Well, I don't care if they come back. I have a dog. We were saved. And we got stuck. And we're perfectly fine. From like that are never gone. Long gone. They curl out of shadows when the night comes. Let's keep our axe sharp. Yeah, it's dead. We made it. We actually made it. The rescue team came. And they're ready to take aw us away from here. We're off to a better tomorrow. One with lots of coffee. Ca canned wet food. And proper food bowls. Oh, Or at least soft pills and squeaky toys. How did we live without them? I feel like the dog is actually writing some of this. That's really weird. Oh, uh, we survived for 50 days. Family- oh, Why does it not do some of the days? It's weird. Family ties. Dolores is insane. Alternative diet. We defended our shelter. Plumbling. Plumbing action. The huntress just visiting. Uh, radio sessions. We can hear things. The dark side. Something smells worse than us. Victory, neighborhood blues. Traders betraying, swarm, house call, Dolores insane, bugs, wasteland supply, bugs. We defended our shelter, barter, the knights who say bugs. <laughs> We're bugs! Bugs! Known benefactor, infestation, the cookie business, beast fight, bugs, atomic junkyard, we stood our ground. Buy for 50 days, don't lose a dog. Nice! Beautiful! <gasps> I survived, but- <gasps> Oh, I did get the ending. Nice! <gasps> I got the puppy! Or at least the skin for the puppy. I don't think the puppy is actually supposed to look like that. I think it actually has, like... It doesn't have hair in front of its face, and it doesn't have the black spots, but I'm not sure. Or at least dark spots. But I got a new skin for the puppy, so that's good. 
I gotta have the skin for the puppy. What did I get? Complete one survival challenge. Oh. Complete one. Nothing abnormal happening? Okay. Alright, what about these other ones? Okay, it does say I've completed them. Nice. Uh, survive for 99 days. That might be a little difficult, but I suppose it also depends on how much stuff I'm given. Because I didn't know before if I was given any stuff or if I was just supposed to scavenge the house. Reward toy skin for three of them? Nice. It might be a more difficult challenge if it's for three of them, then. Um, actually, let me read these. Only Dolores made it. Well, Dolores and this weird mutt. He's not a mutt, he's a puppy. They must hold out together against all odds until rescue arrives. They must also brave starvation, lack of entertainment, bloodthirsty thugs, and also the fact Dolores isn't really a dog person. Really? Yeah, I think the dog is actually supposed to look like this. Like, no stripes, no floppy ears. Well, no low-hanging floppy ears. And you can actually see his eyes. We survived the blast. A nice man on the radio, the one with the heavy accent, promised the rex rescuers would come. We hold out until they arrive 99 days from now. Does that mean, like, 100 days or just 99 days? Too bad for everyone on the radio is either playing folk music or speaking some sort of code. What is it, babushka? Oh. Well, somebody talking about the grandma. These might also be harder. I don't know. Wait, what? I don't know. Things can be disabled. Wait, why is it disabled if he's a scout? How do I, how do I give them the hats? Wait. Let me actually search that up. How do I give them the hats? How do I equip the hats in 60 seconds? Nope. Seconds. Reatomized. Uh, right click or press. Be your L1, L2 button on the controller and select a desired hat on PC version or highlight. Highlight a character and press Y on the Nintendo Switch version. Wait. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so I actually have to... Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so I can change their hats in the bunker. I'll show you that in a second. Um, the blast claimed our scout book, as well as our first aid kit. Even the map got tor all torn up somehow. These items probably won't be in high supply right now, so we need to learn to live without them. Timmy's knowledge is now becoming invaluable. He must guide us through his struggle. Are you all of you alive, actually? Uh, towards a better tomorrow, we must care for him and protect him, for the scats shall inherit the earth. Oh. What does the exclamation point in the stars mean? Keep Timmy alive until rescue comes. Get rescued by the military or ally with the other wastelanders. Okay, so either the twins or the military. And I can do those both at relatively the same time. Scout handbook and first aid kit disabled. Oh, the first aid kit. Oh, no, that's not good. That's really not good. Responsible parenting. Children are the future. Ooh. Um, they must not be put in harm's way and have to be raised right despite the circumstances, so it's a good thing our weapons perished in the explosion. There will be no violence in the shelter, only love and understanding and soup. Hopefully. Survive for 50 days. Keep both children alive until rescue comes. Children cannot go on expeditions. Weapons. Rifle axe. Disable. God dang it. Oh, that's not good. I'm really gonna need the padlock in this one. Survival of the fittest. Is that Timmy? 
It's been weeks. Our supplies are almost gone. Our equipment is damaged. But all is not yet lost. Just before our radio gave out, we caught a message hidden about a hidden cache of food and water somewhere in town. If only we knew where. We must be brave. We must brave the radioactive fallout and search the wasteland for these hidden supplies before we all perish. Send out seven, sexpo seven successful expeditions to locate the supply cache. Okay. Um, Shelter Alone. Reference from Home Alone. Best Christmas movie ever. Uh, the McDonald's... Um, almost. Uh, the McDonald's sent out for family expedition, but made the classic mistake of forgetting their son. That's a long expedition then. Oh god dang it, they even look like them with the fluffy hair and the <laughs> Uh little town Timmy has a shelter all for himself, but a pair of bandits have their eye on the seemingly abandoned McDonald Bonker. Can Timmy protect his home until his parents return? Protect the shelter for thirty days, Timmy only no expedition, axe disabled. What about the gun? Do have bullets. Wait, what is the, why does it say toy skin? That's weird. Uh, and that's all. Okay. Okay, so let me go to this one. I hate to actually. Yeah, let me go to this one and see what I can do with the skins and this. The skins and the hats. Okay, so this one is keep Timmy alive. Ooh, that's actually pretty good stuff. All I need to do is keep Timmy alive, keep Timmy from being not sick. Keep Timmy alive until rescue comes, get rescued by the military or ally with other wastelanders. So why T no doing this right oh there we go wait how do I do that wait is it limited oh right click there we go okay I actually like that um you are going to get the... That. You're g you guys are going to get fancy hats too. I just don't know what. I'm gonna make you wear that. And then do you have a military hat? I don't know if you do. Yes, you do, okay. So you're all gonna wear military hats, except Timmy, who's gonna wear that. And I, well, let me check that actually. Okay, yeah, that's the only one that's close to like a camp. So once we get pancake, we're gonna investigate that. I wonder if there's a. S no, I don't think there would be a skin for. Sus the cat. Okay. Alright, we're gonna pick this back up. Oh, uh, let's see. Thursday, we're gonna do Undertale Genocide Route. So we're gonna pick this back up on. Um, is it gonna save? It does save. Okay. Um, we are gonna pick this back up on Friday, and of course Thursday will be the Undertale Genocide route, which, which is gonna be a pain. Um, I'm not even sure I can beat Undie, I'm gonna be completely honest, but I'm gonna try for that entire stream. If I can't beat her within the stream, then I might not be able to do it, but I'm, I'm still gonna try. Um... <laughs> 
the Raiders. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, or wherever you are in this crazy world. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye!